friends welcome to this video this is Rohit friends in today's video we are going to talk about how we can run specific activity from Android project which is not a launcher activity as well as in this video we are going to learn how we can change the launcher activity of application so you will be able to set any other activity from your application as a launcher activity so let's start this video by understanding how we can run specific activity which is a not a launcher activity so by default friends whenever we try to launch or run our application the application is started with the main activity always which is a launcher activity by default within our application now friends assume the scenario you want to run specific activity you want to launch specific activity for testing purpose so you you may want to test its logic you may want to test its GUI then how you will jump from main activity to specific activity if they are not linked so for this purpose we have to edit the run configuration and within the edit configuration we have to set the launch option so by default the launch option is set with the main activity the launcher activity so we will try to set it to the activity which we want to launch so in order to run specific activity which is not a launcher activity we have to follow two steps first of all we have to edit the configuration and second step we have to change the manifest file so in the manifest file we have to change the exported setting so before showing this practically I will try to give more details about what this exported setting is and why it is important now friends here the exported attribute is used for defining two things first thing is whether your activity whether your service or receiver in your app is accessible to external applications and second thing it will be helpful for controlling whether external applications can launch our activity or service so these two things can be controlled with help of exported attribute now exported attribute is specified within the android manifest file so that manifest file is a configuration file for our application so within that file you will find this exported attribute for each and every activity that you will add within your project but what are these external apps so here external app may be like activity manager so friends here the activity manager is an external application it is basically a tool and this tool will be useful for controlling the application its activities its services so android operating system uses this activity manager in order to control the activities so whenever you want to launch the activity directly which is not a main activity then you must have to export the activities so the activity manager will be able to access it and the activity manager will be able to start it so activity manager tool performs various system actions like it can start activity it can force stop a process it can terminate any process so in order to start any activity we have to specify the exported setting to true so activity manager will be able to access it and it can start our activity now the exported attribute requires two values it can be true or it can be false so by default it is false so in order to launch any activity separately we have to change it to true so it will be accessible by all other external applications and system if it is false means only your application components can access activity like other activities of your applications other services of your applications will be able to access your activity no any other external application or service can access your activity so by default for security purpose the exported value is false so only the components of your application 
can access the activity now friends here try to understand the example of sharing file so whenever we try to share any file from any activity then the android basically present us the list of applications with which we will be able to share that file so here the activity from which we are sharing file that activity is having exported as a true value now friends here try to understand the example of sharing file so whenever we try to share any file then android basically present the list of applications with which we will be able to share our file so whenever user select any application from the presented list of application that application will be able to interact with our activity so this is possible because we have set the exported value to true for our activity so if we don't set exported value to true then external application will not be able to interact with our application now here another important thing we try to understand in the latest android version like android 12 and above specifying exported attribute is compulsory for all activities that you are adding to your application for the security purpose but before android 12 if an application of component like activity service has intent filter then android framework was automatically handling the attribute and what was attribute android exported to true so your component will be accessible to all other applications and system as well but after android 12 specifying android exported to true is a mandatory you have to specify it explicitly so whenever you are adding any activity to your project android studio is by default adding this android exported value to false by default okay so this is about the exported attribute so here try to understand exported attribute will have two values true and false if its value is true means it will be accessible by all other third party applications as well as system and if its value is false then only the components of our application will be able to access it now we will try to go to android studio and we will try to launch specific activity whichever we want okay by following these two steps so here in the android studio we can see we have this uh, default project loaded over here and uh, right now within this project we have main activity so if i launch this project what will happen this main activity will get launch so what i will do now we will add one more activity within this project so i will select this empty activity and here the name of activity will be second activity okay and i will click on finish and friends here you can see the second activity got created and we got these two files now in this file i will add one text view and i will set its constraints and here we will change the text and i will change the text size as well so let's say Okay, now we will try to launch this second activity directly okay so to launch this activity we will go to run then we will go to this edit configuration and here in the edit configuration we have to see this launch option and you can see there is a default activity right now so we will change it to specified activity and here we will click on this three dots and here you can see it will present all the list of activities that will be available within our app 
so right now we have two activities available main activity and second activity so by default this activity is selected so we will select now second activity and we will click on ok so friends here you can see we are getting this warning and it is saying the activity must be exported or contain an intent filter as we discuss in the theory part like whenever activity will contain intent filter automatically the exported value becomes true or you have to specify the exported value to true explicitly so this is for the main activity because main activity has intent filter so if you are specifying any other activity other than main activity then you have to set this exported value to true so here i am trying to launch this second activity which is not a main activity that's why i have to specify the exported value to true okay so just click on apply and okay and now next to that go to this manifest directory and here you will find this android manifest xml now here in this file so here within the application tag you can see there are two activity tags because we have two activities within our application and right now observe the first activity tag here the name of activity is second activity this is basically the class name which is representing our second activity and you can see now the exported attribute by default its value is false that's why we cannot launch this activity directly but now we will change it to true and now we will be able to launch this second activity as well now friends i will try to run our app so friends here you can see on our screen we got this second activity so this is how we will be able to launch any specific activity which is not a launcher activity friends the recommended value for exported attribute is false for any non launcher activity so as this activity is not a launcher activity so after performing the testing you should set its value to false again so it will be accessible only through the components of your application so this is how we will be able to run specific activity which is not a launcher activity so two steps we have perform here first of all we have edited the configuration and set the launch option and second thing we have changed the exported attribute within the manifest dot xml file now we will try to see how we can change the launch activity so by default here we have seen the main activity is a launcher activity so within the application tag you can see we have two activities the second activity and the main activity so here for this main activity there is a intent filter specified so friends here the intent filter can be viewed as an expression in application manifest file that specifies the type of intent the type of message the component would like to receive so each intent filter specifies the type of intent or the type of message it accept it receive based on the action based on the category or based on the data so here you can see the action is main the category is launcher so based on this the activity is selected as a launcher activity so what we can do simply we will try to move this intent filter to second activity like this and here i will try to close this tag and friends here you can see this warning is showing so what it is saying if the activity has intent filter then it must be exported as a
शत्रु ओके लाइक दिस एंड आई विल सेट दी एक्सपोर्टेड वैल्यू फॉर मेन एक्टिविटी एज ए फॉल्स नाउ फ्रेंड्स आई विल ट्राई टू रन अवर एप अगेन सो हियर यू कैन सी द बिल्ड प्रोसेस हैज कंप्लीटेड नाउ वी कैन सी फ्रेंड्स वी गॉट दिस सेकंड एक्टिविटी विच वी हैव चेंज एज ए लॉन्चर एक्टिविटी सो विच एवर एक्टिविटी यू वॉन्ट टू मेक एज अ लॉन्चर एक्टिविटी सिंपली यू नीड टू एड दिस इंटेंट फिल्टर टू दैट एक्टिविटी यू हैव टू सेट द एट्रीब्यूट एक्सपोर्टेड टू ट्रू देन एंड देन ओनली इट विल अलाउ यू टू लॉन्च यूअर एक्टिविटी सो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो यूजफुल प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो आई विल सी यू नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग